You can add APM charts to Insights dashboards to help organize and monitor metric data in a centralized place. This tutorial will cover how to add APM charts to Insights dashboards via the Metric Widgets feature how to change the time window for all charts in a dashboard and individual charts within a dashboard, and how to edit and configure APM metric widgets. Metric widgets are a special type of insights widget that display metric time slice data reported to New Relic by your agent. Since metric widgets use a different data type and are not based on NRQL, they have different display and customization options than event-based NRQL charts. There are two ways to add metric widgets to an Insights dashboard, via the Metric Explorer in New Relic Insights or via the Add to Dashboard option on any supported New Relic metric chart. For this tutorial, I'll focus on adding charts from APM dashboards via the Add to Dashboard option. Many of the APM dashboards support this option, but for our purposes, I'll use the APM Overview dashboard. Notice that when I hover over a chart, a gray bar appears below with a link to Add to an Insights Dashboard and a More link. The More link allows me to add a note or embed a chart, but I'm going to click the Add to an Insights Dashboard. This opens a menu with a list of my recent dashboards, as well as an option to create a new dashboard and a search feature to find a specific dashboard. I'll choose my dashboard Calligator Metric Data. Once I click that, I see a green check mark and a red X. I'll click the green check mark to confirm that option, or if I want a different dashboard, I can click the X and then select another option. Now that I've added this chart, the gray box turns green, and I have the option to go to that dashboard. When I click that, a new tab opens with my Insights dashboard I just added the chart to. Because I already had some charts on this dashboard, I'll click the Dashboard Edit button and scroll down to the bottom where this chart was added. I can click and drag this chart up to the top, and then click and drag the bottom right corner of the chart to resize it. I'll click Done Editing for now so I can show you the Time Window features. Notice in the upper right corner, just below the Edit button, there are a few Time Window or Time Picker options. When I click these, all the charts change to reflect that new Time Window. I can also set a custom Time Window that works similarly to the APM Time Picker. To exit the custom time window, simply click the X next to the time window description. Notice on my dashboard, when I click Default, my charts show different time windows. This is because each chart's default time window is the time window I had set in APM when I added the chart. I want to note here that Insights will always display time window results based on your browser's time zone. I can change the default time window for each chart along with several other aspects by editing them. To edit a metric widget from an Insights dashboard, click the Dashboard Edit button, then click the Widgets Edit Chart icon. I can change the title of each chart by putting my cursor in the Title field. The title you see here is automatically generated showing the metric name, which is most often going to be the case. However, in some instances, you have the option to enter your own title at the time that you add the chart to your dashboard. Here, I'm in the APM Transactions dashboard, and I want to add the App Server Breakdown chart for a specific transaction to my dashboard. When I click the Add to Insights Dashboard link, it gives me a text field to enter a title. I'll need to do this before I can click the green check to add it to a dashboard, so I'll do that right now. Now, the gray panel turns green and gives me the option to view my chart in Insights. Another variation to the metric widget is the option to view a query in Insights. Here, I'm in the APM Error Analytics dashboard, and I want to add this chart showing my app's error transactions by name. When I hover over the chart, I have the option to view the query. When I click on that, a window opens displaying the NRQL query. I can copy and paste this into the Insights query bar, or simply click the View in Insights button, which takes me directly to the Insights query editing panel. If I click the other option, View in Insights, I am taken directly to the same Insights Query Editing panel, where I can give my chart a title and add it to my dashboard. I notice that my charts have some pretty varied time windows, so I'm going to edit the default time window for a few charts. To do this, I'll click the Dashboard Edit button in the upper right corner, and then I'll click the Edit icon on the chart I want to edit. 
I'll click the drop down menu in the upper right corner and select the time window I want for this chart. Then I'll click Save Changes. Finally, I'll click Done Editing for the dashboard. Now you can see my default for the chart I edited has changed. However, I can still click on the Time Picker options for the dashboard, and this chart will change to show that selected time window. There are a few more advanced customization features for metric widgets I want to touch on. I can view metric values broken out by host. My demo app is too small to show this, so here's a quick example of what this looks like in another app. In the chart editing window, I have a toggle button to view by host, which I can turn on and see each host for this app. I can also change the y-axis value of a chart. To do this, in the same editing window, I'll select a value from the drop-down menu. I'll change this chart from requests per minute to average response time. Now I have this new data, also broken out by host. Available y-axis value functions depend on the kind of metric data the widget is displaying. As you saw here, these options can include call count, calls per minute, average requests per minute, minimum, maximum, and throughput. One more thing about these advanced customization features. Some charts added via the APM Add to Insights dashboard link may not support changing the value function. To change the value function for the metric, use the Insights Metric Explorer to find it and then chart it. And finally, I want to note here that if your dashboard has filtering enabled, you can still filter on NRQL widgets. However, filtering does not apply to any agent metric widgets on the dashboard. If you aren't sure how to use the Insights dashboard filtering features or want to learn more about these dashboards, go to the tutorial on creating and editing Insights dashboards and data apps. For more information about the Insights Metric Explorer, visit the Docs site.